Hi developers, I'm Banzai, and today I'm going to show how to install, run, and use the Iris Python suite. So let's do it. Here we are on the Open Exchange website. Here we have my application. So we have some spoilers of the application in use. The Banzai's chatbot, the global view chart the Iris Python COVID-19 chart that I made, a crude example, and some explanation. All this I, I made with the Iris Python native API, and to store, I just used the globals uh, as a data structure on the database, okay? So this is the topic to install, getting started. We have some prerequisites here. First of all, Git, you need Git, Docker and Docker Compose, and updated version, the latest one should be good. And there is a point here, is you must adjust the Docker settings to up the memory, because my application uses some memories to be built, not to run, but to be built, you will need some memory. You can do it in here, in Docker, if, we are, if you are using Mac, okay, preference, and it's already here at four gigabytes, okay? So you click in apply and, and restart, it will restart your Docker service. So don't forget, you need to change the memory settings. And access to a terminal in your environment. So if you are using Windows, the command or the Windows PowerShell, if you are using Linux, just the, the terminal, and here in Mac, the common space terminal. Good enough, okay. Uh, installing, following the instructions, we need to clone the, the repository, okay. Copy here, and before, before you start cloning, just check where you are, okay. And we are at the user's MacBook directory. I will create one direct just for this test, okay? And here we are. Now we can clone, okay? If you take a look at the directory, there is another directory, the iris, Python, COVID-19. Go inside, oops, go inside it. And here, you, we, we can see some directories, some structure, some Docker Compose files, okay? The app directory has all the Python scripts. The data directory has all data to be inputted into the, the iris, okay? This is a Docker Compose YAML for Windows and a Docker Compose for the other OSs. The IDIS has a Docker file for the IDIS database, and I think it's enough for now. Just remember where we are. Now we have the instructions to change the memory and running in Linux and Mac OS my case here. This will take a while, but here, as I have in cache my, all my application and I didn't change anything, uh, it runs so fast, okay? You, it, it can take around five or 10 minutes even to download all the dependencies, to build all the libraries. So expect between three and 10 minutes to, to be done. And the next step, Docker Compose app. We can, we can, we can use the dash D option to detach, to detach the, the containers, but uh, I, I want just to show you what will happen here, okay? So we will start to 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 get some errors on on the on the beginning because.
because even I, I put the the application dependency to the database on on Docker Compose until the 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 database starts, we will get some errors. Okay. So oh now the inter systems are starting and probably oh, yes our application starts and now my chatbot is training the initial the starting training of English probably okay now well, it's all okay don't trust this number because in the Docker Compose I changed it okay this is a local number so let's go to this address Here we are, my application. Let's take a view on how to use each one. Okay. Uh, I will start by this one. It's a COVID-19, the first one that I made for this application. It's a graph. You can filter by country. Here, we can see. Okay. All these are made with dash combining with with plotly okay there's a very interesting graph library we can we can change some things we can zoom that's a good one and go back we can change the y-axis for linear from linear to log logarithm we can change days after first step to real dates okay this is this is if all countries has the first step at the same day view, and this one is, is with this real date. And we can view the rate or the total that. The rate is the, the quantity of that per 100,000 people. Okay. This is. The another is the global view graph. Uh, I I input this global inside Iris just to show you a, a good image here. And it's a computer node node with his dependencies. Yeah, we have software, hardware. We can filter too here. So we can filter the subscripts. Okay. Hardware. Software. And software has OS as a central node. We can OS and Mac OS. Mac OS, I everything. We have the config crude. It's just a, 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 a form to persist some information. And here we have the result. And we can check at the, the IDIS if you want. Uh, now, the pipeline of training the chatbot, okay? We have these two menus here. Chatbot training data to input some information to train your chatbot. So, to, to make an example, let's talk with the chatbot. Who built you? My friend, now he he is a free spirit here, <laughs> okay. But we can change this. We can we can teach him that he he was built for from someone. <laughs> okay, let me close here. In English, oh, we have four languages now. The, the most complex is the English one. The other one has uh, smaller training data. So maybe the, the chatbot should appear crazy to you, but as we input more training data, we can have something like the English, okay? To build you. My master is Banzai. OK. 
save the data. If I click here, the chatbot application will reload, right? And retrain because I just changed the, the custom training data here. It will take some seconds, as you see, and now it's training. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go through the question. Okay, now he knows, he learned that I'm his master. Okay. So again, we can just reload and change to other languages like Russian. I don't know Russian, so I will copy this one. I think it is Privet, Privet. Uh, I don't know the right accent. Uh, he responds Privet to me. And we have in Portuguese too. Oi, como vai você? Hi, how are you doing? Okay. Bem, well. Oh, você fala bem. <laughs> you speak well. <laughs> okay, so if we came back to the global view graph, we can now uh, look at the the global of conversations. Okay, uh, I think the name is chatbot conversation. Yes, chatbot conversation. You know, this is the root node. So we have Portuguese, my conversation that I just made now, my Russian conversation, my English conversation. Hi, how are you doing? Who be to you? My master is Benzai. And uh, from before, who be to you has two different answers here. Okay. So I think it's pretty enough for today. Uh, in next video, I will go deeper inside the, the code. So be prepared. And if you like my application and like this presentation, please vote in my application on the contest. We, the contests are running till tomorrow, okay? Good to see you. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.